grizzly bear was complicit in it. It wanted it. North yeah. Carolina man raped a grizzly bear this week in Juneau, Alaska. He's being hailed as the world's toughest man. World's toughest rapist, yeah. Kyle. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. greatest and rapist I'm... in history, <laughs> some are saying. <laughs> the greatest rapist. Well, the, the greatest one is no longer with us. So. Uh, no, Cosby's in jail. Those charges mm. are fraudulent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was. You I know, was I deserve to, uh... three times the credit they initially gave me. I was much better with the officer of the benzos than they gave me credit. Who's the greatest rapist? Who are you going with? Uh, Go someone who didn't kill himself. Epstein. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Epstein. I think we might Those give him up for that. the the greatest facilitator of rape. You know, who's who's to say? I, I'm sure he did his fair share, but I'm, I'm sure there were some kings and princes and like. He's Wall the Street Mark Zuckerberg types, of right? rape. Oh, so I, I feel like if you're going to put together some sort of great rapist spreadsheet, like a matrix, then facilitating the rape would get you some points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The grapist? The grapist, one of the best sketches. <laughs> I'm taking you to the basement. I'm going to tell you the ringer. I'm going to rape you for years. I'm going to grape you in the I mouth. Was in <laughs> <laughs> I was I in England that, during the bit. Prince Andrew stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was like during that interview, it was so like... I, I didn't hear a single person who was like who supported him or the royal family or anything. Everybody was like, yeah, fuck that guy. He's he's a horrible person. Oh, like yeah. it was it seemed pretty unanimous. His uh, he's such a gentleman. He didn't defend himself well. Right. Like like there was a section in there where now obviously he's guilty. I think so. That's that's going to yeah. hurt his defense. But he was saying that Epstein, what did he call him? Like unpleasant or something. And and they're like, he's a rapist. Like, right, I just didn't want to, you know, put it so harshly. I suspect right. that's a royal upbringing thing. I suspect that is someone who didn't want to insult his friend and provider of rape victims. Of children, yeah. I think it's yeah. okay to turn on him at this point, though, right? Like, like he did kill himself. <laughs> you know, he, he definitely did. Sure. Why would people lie? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a story that I wish they would reopen, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, the, until uh, the next the, guy who facilitates rape gets caught, and then he gets suicided in prison. His then, yeah, the, uh, the I did hear though that Epstein before he didn't kill himself. Uh, I did hear he really enjoyed the chili. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if like he probably didn't have any contact with the other inmates, but if they were yeah. like, yeah, what are you in for? Well, I, I have an island. It's called Little St. James Island, and it's a fun place for fun people. And they're like, man, that sounds pretty cool. Like, he just doesn't just doesn't go into it yeah. anymore. Yeah, wait, yeah. What, what could you do? You couldn't go well. I'm a Me and my bastard. friend Bill and a lot of other prominent people did some really despicable things on a certain <laughs> express. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, uh, the argument that he had was that he doesn't sweat. Did you hear that part of the interview? No, I think you're. No, no, I. I don't recall the exact quote, but I remember where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said, Prince Andrew said something about like how uh, he, how he doesn't sweat, like the account of him was wrong because he doesn't sweat as a person. And then oh. like, yeah, so people That's were just sharing photos thing. of him being sweaty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like a dog. He just pants. Yeah, he yeah just... <laughs> he's, he's the opposite of Papa John. Oh, yeah. uh, Papa hey, John Papa looking John... wet. <laughs> like I, that was so that was such a funny clip where he's like the truth will be revealed you know a, no no what do you say a reckoning will come <laughs> anyone who has ever said just stay tuned for the truth nothing ever changes like no. uh, Rafael Palmero with steroids that was his whole argument when he like went before Congress and and he was like oh you'll see all the truth will come out you'll see and then nothing. <sighs> Papa John needs to shut the fuck up. Like, like you know, take a guess. Don't Google how much he's worth. Uh, 300 mil? I'm going to say two and a half two, mil. Two billion dollars. Okay, 2.49 well, million. I went too high. At least, at least Taylor didn't go like 80 trillion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was like 700 million at, okay. like, 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 like a year or two. I win press like, the red rules. There's it. no reason he should be worried about this shit anymore right like like forget it it's over you said the n-word they fired you you're gone <coughs> you're, right? it's over like like, what, like go start a new pizza yeah. company you've got plenty of money go make a pizza company called papa's original and and fucking and and do it and just put your wet 
sweaty face on every box and use your favorite ingredients, whatever the fuck they are. And sponsor and, and, our podcast with it. And sponsor our podcast. Get wet with the papa. He's got yeah. $700 oh, million dollars to do anything you want. Yeah. Anything. He's actually going to use all that money to campaign for people to be allowed to say the N-word. Oh. That's his It's that's a free his speech cause. campaign. Well, we'll, everybody, everybody everybody we'll has take a that sponsor too. You know, what I liked about Jesus. it is like of all the things he could be mad about from it, it seemed like the thing he was most mad about is like, I made a place that delivers great pizza at a great price, and I've tried 40 pizzas over the last 30 days, and the ingredients are different. This is not the pizza like I built this on. Like the pizza is not the same. And it's like, dude, you're livid about the quality of a pizza restaurant you no longer have any stake in. It's like you yeah. see, you see it as your legacy. Dude, first of all, you're more expensive than Pizza Hut. Ever since Pizza Hut did their like whole revamp back, or no, Domino's, even Domino's is better now, I think. But yeah. if it weren't for that little garlic butter cup and mm. the little uh, banana pepper or pepperoncini or whatever it comes with, yeah, nobody would want your pizza, man. Like, Dude, I love that. Not nearly as good. It's the best as, part, yeah. frankly. Like, it's the part I yeah. look when I open that box and there's that big sl slab of wet pizza and then there's that banana pepper over there in the corner. I order extra. And there's that cup of garlic butter. I order extra. Yeah, I, that's what I'm into. Like, like, like that, that. Those are my two favorite parts. Yeah, it's of a it. garlic butter delivery device. Yeah. yeah. So Do you know good. about uh, when Papa John's sponsored a like they tried to change the name of a Grand Slam in baseball to a, a Big Papa, a Papa Slam? Oh, I was. They close. like they had all the commentators calling it that, and they had like on MLB.com they would say Papa Slam. And it was the dumbest, just worst. It was the worst. It was everybody hated that it. That is so really much. dumb. I mean, I remember, yeah. like, I remember seeing Big Mac land in Bush Stadium as a kid and being young enough that I was like, wow, Mark McGuire is so popular that McDonald's launched a sandwich named after him. <laughs> 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 I didn't see the inverse of it, but I was like, Jesus. oh, man, that's awesome. He's, he's going to break the home run record. This I looked year. up the Papa John CEO, John Shatner. It says he's worth eight hundred million, and he's Papa John's largest shareholder. Oh, I thought he was kind of ousted. All right, or he's yeah, just they just ousted him from the from the board. I thought it was weird that he wouldn't have a ton of stock. Mm, then yeah. maybe it is. Then maybe he sell it. He I, should dump the stock and start oh, a new, maybe, new fucking company. May, maybe the eight hundred thou or eight hundred mil is the stock. Probably a big. Like he might not be liquid at all. I yeah, mean, if he's face, the biggest shareholder, then it's got to be a big chunk of it. Yeah, he's he might be yeah. liquid. 20 million dollars but you know what i mean like, stock like, is a owns... liquid asset though like he could just turn that to cash uh yeah i i guess he could but it's a i don't know how I'm much he could cash, dump without impacting you know? the... is there any credibility oh, to it, Papa it, John actually... you should dump it all just to fuck the company over that's like, what yeah. dell did michael dell the <laughs> owner of dell he just slowly like sold more and more of his stock so that he his wealth wouldn't be tied to dell's stock price anymore yeah like, if he doesn't believe in the company like why is he doing fucking interviews on Inside Edition or wherever the hell he was, Entertainment Tonight, some rag. Just dump the stock and make your own new company. That's that's what you think it should be. Also, yeah. anyone, I would not trust the opinion of anyone who ate 40 pizzas in 30 days about anything. Well, he tasted 40 pizzas in 30 days. I think that's important. Oh, I, mean, he, I thought he said he ate them. He, first of all, no that's one why can he, eat that's why 40 so pizzas sweaty. in 30 days. <laughs> Yeah. Like, That's why he's like, sweating. You, it's grease coming out of his forehead. You can't eat forty pizzas in thirty days. Challenge well, I, accepted. I, I, challenge accepted. And I'm willing to put. You my will be dead on, on week line. one. Like you will not make it past the first you don't week. Think I could eat a pizza and what a, a sixth of another pizza every day. Large pizza. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he didn't specify sizes. Yeah, it might have just been personal pizza. A personal pan. He's I mean, a sensible of guy. course you need a personal pan. Like that ain't shit. It's I don't like, know that, if I could eat one Papa John's pizza at all. I can eat because it I fucking eat, sucks. I can eat a no, personal pan pizza for every meal of the fine. day. Yeah, I could eat a, a large Papa John's pizza, but it, it, one sitting is more than I want. But I could easily do like three quarters of the pizza now and over then, the course of the day. Yeah. But imagine. Oh, but like that means you're... tomorrow I've got a pizza and a quarter to eat. 30 yeah. days this in a row. This could get cumulative. By day four, there's so much pizza, it's incalculable. <laughs> it, yeah. It's beyond You'd my have math. to be eating like a whole bushel of whatever the unit of a big unit of measurement for celery is every single day just so you could shit. 
it, like you, you get would, three you day, you real digestive time. problem like a weekend like you've eaten so much cheese at this point right and you'd have to like keep changing the toppings up just to keep it interesting after after 25 30 days i'd be surviving like on my... pizza and life cereal <laughs> I feel like my <laughs> my problem with eating it would be like day 28 would come around and I'd be like, I only have two days left of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be you like, are, are you struggling? It? Oh, yeah. I'm struggling. Like, that's, a, that's an Emo's pizza. Did you order a different brand of pizza? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like, to, I like to mix it up. Yeah. Well, they'll only give me one free one a day, so I order a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I have to supplement it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you'd be like, did you eat, did you eat 42 of these? You're like, yeah, I got hungry at the end. I was yeah. talking to an 